the session number six. This is still biological science, and uh, we are going to finish uh, our second learning competency, which is inferring how one's lifestyle can affect the functioning and of respiratory and circulatory systems. If you have your learner's module with you, you have to open it on Unit 1, Module 1, pages 19 to 29, and I'll help you get through it. The following are the three parts of this session. So the first part is an activity, which is uh, cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health, activity number seven. The second part is a discussion regarding uh, the respiratory diseases caused by smoking. And then the last part is going to be a summative assessment, which only involves some short responses coming from you. For the first active for the first part, which is activity number seven, we have the following objectives. So we need to explain the negative effects of cigarette smoking on the circulatory and respiratory systems. Um, you may need these materials really, but uh, since this is asynchronous and this is a video lesson, you just have to do what I am going to tell you. Okay. So yeah, again, so I want you to observe this photo. Uh, it's familiar, I guess. To some of you. Okay, you have to take note of the harmful effects of cigarette smoking as shown. So to help you out, how about you focus with this part of the illustration and then this part and, and then ito, pwede rin. This one as well, you can focus on it and then the ears, I guess it's being depicted right there. Okay, so again, the lungs and then what, what, what are these? You have here a device, what is that? And then we have this one, okay. Look at these fingers, they're depicting some different things. Okay, and then, yeah, you can see these different uh, parts. And then as you notice, kanyan siya. Okay, so I wanted to observe this photo and take note of at least three of the harmful effects of cigarette. Uh, smoking, as uh, shown here in the respiratory and circulatory system. You may pause this video if you want to. If you have continued to continue it, uh, to continue, if you have decided to continue it, let us now proceed with the following, uh, with the following command. Actually, they are not questions, okay? So these are, com this is a command. I would like you to draw this, the, fo the following on your notebooks or on your, on your, uh, extra sheets of clean paper and so cigarette smoking and its effects to the circulatory and the respiratory system uh, you have to write at least three negative effects of cigarette smoking to the circulatory system and three negative effects of cigarette smoking to the respiratory system you may uh, pause this video so that you would be able to answer or to finish this activity if you have decided to continue the video, okay, let us now proceed to the second part of this session. The second part of this session is a discussion regarding the diseases uh, caused by um, cigarette smoking. Prefer Actually, these are respiratory and circulatory diseases. Let us begin with chronic bronchitis. Um, remember, uh, often than, more often than not, um, when it is, when the sickness or the disease ends with itis, it is an inflammation. Okay, so again, uh, when it is ending with itis, usually that disease is an inflammation. Uh, in this case, chronic bronchitis is also, is considered to be a chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder or COPD. It is characterized uh, with the fall. It is uh, known to have the following symptoms: coughing, shortness of breath, wheezing, uh, low-grade fever, and tightness of chest. I forgot the Oxford comma in there. <laughs> so that is chronic bronchitis. The next one is emphysema. Uh, familiar sila sa inyo because these are alveoli, okay? Uh, alveolus singular. It is all emphysema is also a chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder and it is uh, characterized as damaged alveoli leading to a thin appearance and blue blood dis discoloration. When a, when a lung is emphysematous, it means na yung mang, marami siyang mga alveoli na nagkaroon ng uh, ruptures. Okay, so the next one is asthma. Ito yung common, I guess, okay, sa ating lahat. 
and not really to all of us, pero it is a more common respiratory disease. Uh, it is a, also a chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder and it is uh, characterized as inflamed airways. So usually they are bronchi, ayan, um, parang bronchitis din siya, pero it happens on a regular basis and usually the trigger, uh, it's known as asthma. Okay, so the next one is tuberculosis. Uh, it's a lung infection. By saying infection, ang infection ibig sabihin niyan, merong um, microorganism or merong virus na nakapasok sa isang part ng body ng isang tao or any animal or any uh, organism. Okay, that's in general. And then ang, nangy- ang nangyayari is yung organism na yun, yung microorganism na yun, or that virus multiplied. Okay, nag-increase siya sa number. So, this is latent infection, this is cavitary tuberculosis, and this one is miliary tuberculosis. So, this is how the screening for tuberculosis happens. Um, yung isang, ano, isang patient is going to be given a PPD test, uh, which consists of a subcutaneous inf- injection of tuberculin antigen okay, with a subsequent reading of 48 or 2 days to 72 hours or 3 days. Ang tat- gagawin lang dyan is i-measure yung uh, diameter at kung lumaki siya, okay, humaba yung diameter, ibig sabihin nun, infected uh, yung tao and thus meron siyang tuberculosis. Ayan, so another dra- respiratory disease uh, caused by cigarette smoking. Actually, no, I'm so sorry, this is not a respiratory disease. Atherosclerosis is the formation of plaque sa um, blood vessel. If it involves a blood vessel, then what do you think is uh, this? Uh, what what organ system do you think is affected by uh, cigarette smoking in this case? Okay, it's the circulatory system. Ang plaque is this one right here. They are nothing but fatty deposits. So, kapag bawa your body is getting too much fats and then hindi mo naman niya nagagamit, um, mag-aano siya dyan, mag-iipon siya dyan, okay? Um, cholesterol, uh, if it is coming in the body in so in, in, in a very huge amounts, ang nangyayari is they're just being deposited sa walls ng, um, in this case, artery. Tapos mag-build up yan ang mag-build up kasi kung hindi naman binabawasan yung, ano, yung amount of fatty foods sa, sa diet, talaga mag-build up lang yan dyan hanggang sa mag-form na siya ng blood clotting o yung mamumuo na yung dugo sa may part na yan. Therefore, mabablock yung blood vessel. That is not good. We are done with the discussion. I hope that you were able to listen carefully. This is really a really important part of the session. So if you want to repeat this discussion, you may do so by just uh, dragging that uh, red button backwards, of course. The next uh, and the last part of this session is a summative assessment. So you will only need to provide short responses for this part of the discussion of the uh, session. The first question is, the nutrients obtained from the food during digestion are supplied by the circulatory system to the body. The question is, what does the circulatory system distribute to the body as it works with the respiratory system? You may pause this uh, video if you want to have more time. Okay. If you have decided to continue, that means you're ready for question number two. Question number two, if solid and liquid wastes are removed from the body through defecation and urination, what is released by the body as a waste during respiration? You may pause this video so that you would have time to answer. If you have decided to continue, let us have question number three. Question number three, what happens to the diaphragm when a person breathes in or inhales? Question number four, why is the human heart called a double pump? Question number five, what will happen if oxygen is not transported by the blood to other parts of the body? Question 
Question number six, since the valves act as the doors of the heart, what might happen if these doors do not close? Remember the valves, they are preventing the backflow of the blood. So what will happen if these doors do not close? Question number seven, when we breathe in, we inhale many gases present in the air, including oxygen. What do you think happens to the gases that are not needed by the body? Question number eight, you always hear and see the statement, government warning, cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health. How does cigarette smoking increase the risk of developing cardiovascular diseases? Question number nine. How does singing from the diaphragm instead of throat help improve the voice quality of a singer? Question number 10. An old woman joined a kilometer dash sprint and felt very exhausted afterwards. How did the woman's activity affect her heart rate? If you are through with those uh, with answering those questions, let us now now discuss the uh, answers to those questions. The answer for question number one is the circulatory system distributes oxygen to the body as it works with the respiratory system. What I need you to do is, uh, of course, if you have submitted your uh, answers to me, that means ako na yung check. But if you are, if you still have your answers to yourselves, you need to check your own work. The answer to question number two is. Carbon dioxide is released by the body as waste during respiration. The answer to question number three is the diaphragm contracts, allowing more air in the chest cavity. The answer to question number four is the heart pumps on every side, the left and the right, to circulate blood throughout the body. The answer to question number five is the cells in our body would not be able to process the nutrients, the nutrients to provide energy for the body and they will die. Remember our previous session and I told you that the importance of oxygen is connected to this, uh, to this process, the production or the release of um, energy by the cells. The answer to question number six, if the valves of the heart do not close, blood will flow backwards. Blood will escape back into the chambers rather than flowing forward through the heart or into an artery. Question number seven, the, these gases will still pass from the lungs into the blood and circulate throughout the body. Just because you have inhaled, say, carbon monoxide or any harmful gas, it doesn't mean that your body will immediately reject it. Your body will still be letting those things circulate throughout your body. Question number eight. The chemicals in cigarette harm the blood cells. They can also damage the function of the heart and the structure and function of blood vessels, thus increasing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Question number nine. Singing from the diaphragm supports proper breathing and voice and avoids voice straining. Last answer to question number 10, after running, the woman's heart rate increased to supply more oxygen through the blood to the muscles since they need more oxygen when they are moving. Count the number of correct responses and please note your score. It's going to be 10 over 10 if your score is a perfect one. We are done with the summative assessment. 
because that have a very, very fast uh, review of what we did in this session. Activity number seven is you viewed that photo and then you answered several questions. For the discussion, what we, what we did is we discussed different um, diseases, cardiovascular and respiratory diseases caused by smoking, including atherosclerosis and chronic bronchitis. For the summative assessment, you were given 10 questions to answer and you also were directed to answer, to check your own work. That ends session number six. The Knowledge Catalog is a brand being developed by a teacher creator, Carlos Joseph V. Malapis, that's me. And I am a high school teacher in the Philippines. I teach science and I love developing content that I find useful and needed to better my instruction. Your support by subscribing to this channel or by leaving a like or a positive comment in our, uh, in our comment section or perhaps clicking on that bell button is going to help me a lot. See you in the next video.